In this clip, we're going to be evaluating a function, not by substituting in a number for x, but substituting in an algebraic expression for x. And this is a process we're going to have to use when we um, look at the limit definition for a derivative. So it's good practice and preparation for that. So I start off by giving you a function, a quadratic function, f of x is equal to x squared minus x plus 1. And what we want to do is for each x occurring in this function, we want to plug in x plus h. So let's start with that. f of x plus h is going to be the old x that we saw up above squared minus the old x plus 1. So wherever there had been an x, I'm going to replace that with x plus h. Now, this is going to require some additional expansion and foiling in particular. So this is going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And we're going to distribute the negative through minus x minus h plus 1. And I'll do a quick peek and see if anything can be combined, and I don't think it can. So this right here is our answer for the first part of the evaluation. That's going to go right here. So when we go to find this, let's just focus on the, on the top left. The top left is f of x plus h, which we just found. It's not a, a short little answer, but we did find it and simplify it as much as we could. So it's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h plus 1. And you know what? I'm going to have to extend this fraction bar a little bit more. Now, the next thing I'm going to go to is the top right, which is minus f of x, or the opposite of whatever f of x had been. So f of x is right here. Uh, that's what I gave you. Its opposite is going to be negative x squared plus x minus 1. And then the third component is the denominator, and the denominator is h. Now for a problem like this, particularly in the beginning, uh, your job is going to be to simplify this as far as you can. So just doing this wouldn't be sufficient. You've got to look a little bit further and see if you can do anything more. And uh, sure enough, you can. There's things that are going to cancel out. For example, we have an x squared here and a negative x squared there. We have a minus x and a plus x, and we have a plus 1 and a minus 1. So when all is said and done, we have 2xh plus h squared minus h all over h. Now, there's one more thing we can do, and that is to factor out an h from the top. If we do that, we're left with 2x plus h minus 1 over h. And then these h's are going to cancel out, so we're left with a final answer of 2x plus h minus 1. And this will be something sort of significant once we get to the chapter on derivatives. At this point, you should be ready to try the problems that correspond with clip number five.